Today we are learning how to find the value of a digit in a decimal place. Let's say you're asked to write the value of the 5 in the number 468.15. Well, we should start by taking this number and putting it on a place value chart. To put this number on a place value chart, first find the decimal. Then the digit immediately next to it, here the 8, will go into the 1's place. Then from there the 6 can go into the 10's and the 4 can go into the 100's. On the other side of the decimal point, the 1 will go into the tenths place, and the 5 will go into the hundredths. Now we're looking to find the value of the 5. Well, the way that you can write the value of 5 hundredths is by filling in all of the place values between that and the decimal point with zeros. So we'll write that we have 0 tenths and 5 hundredths. The value of this 5 is 0 0.05. Let's do one of these together. Let's say you're asked, to write the value of the 2 in this number. Well, let's start by taking this number and putting it on the place value chart. We'll start by finding the decimal point and then looking right next to it at this 3. What place value should the 3 go into? The 3 will go into the 1's place. Then what place value should this 9 go into? The 9 will go into the 10's place. And finally, the 8 will go into the 100's. On the other side of the decimal, what place value should the 2 go into? The 2 should go into the first decimal place, the tenths. Then what place value should the 5 go into? The 5 should go into the hundredths, and finally the 7 goes into the thousandths. Now we're looking to find the value of the 2, which you can see is in the tenths place. How can you write out 2 tenths? Well, there are no empty place values that need to be filled with zeros. 2 tenths is just written as 0.2. Now it's time for you to practice on your own. Write the value of the 6 in the number 12.063. Well, you start by taking this number and putting it on the place value chart. Here's the decimal, so the 2 will go into the 1's place and the 1 into the 10's. On the other side of the decimal, the 0 will go into the 10's, the 6 goes into the 100's, and the 3 goes into the 1000's. So if we want to write the value of the 6, we need to just fill in the empty place values between the 6 and the decimal point. That means we put a zero in the tenths place. The value of this six, or six hundredths, can be written as 0 .06. Here's your last one for today. Write the value of the four in 768.064. We'll start by taking the number and put it on the place value chart. Here's the decimal, so the eight goes into the ones, the six into the tens, and the seven into the hundredths. On the other side of the decimal, the zero goes into the tenths, the 6 into the hundredths, and the 4 into the thousandths. Now we're looking for the value of the 4. We can see it's in the thousandths, and to write this, fill all of the place values between the 4 and the decimal point with zeros. So you write that you have 0 hundredths and 0 tenths. This 4 has a value of 0 .004. From today, remember, put digits on a place value chart starting with the decimal and then add in zeros to fill empty spaces between the number and the decimal point.